Hi, I'm Sherman uh, with Highland Park Lapidary, and I'm going to show you how to put the blade on a production trim saw and on a Model 12. The arbor is very similar between the two, and a lot of times people say, is, how do I stop the arbor shaft from turning when I'm trying to get the nut loose? So here's a new unit coming here. We tighten this up a little bit, uh, this nut a little bit, and it's, it's, a, it's a, a bolt that goes into the end of the arbor. And the trick is, well, how do you get it loose? Because if you try to loosen it, the thing will turn, and there's really no way to hold your uh, your belt unless you open the guard. And I'm too lazy to open the guard. So this is the technique. I put a wrench on, I grab another wrench, and I hit it. And I knock that loose. Um, so now I can undo the, uh, the wrench here and, uh, and pull my uh, flange off. Um, so oftentimes I get people ask that when they're setting up. It's like, how do I loosen that bolt? Super simple. Same thing goes if you've got a blade on there. Some people grip the blade. You can do that. If you've got a thin curved blade, you don't want to be grabbing onto it. Again, use a wrench. Give an impact to the wrench. That'll like it, let it come loose. That's it. All right, we're going to put our blade on. We're going to be putting a thin line, uh, a 12 inch blade on this Model 12. So I'm going to put my flange on there. I mean, my, my bushing. I'll put my blade in there to line up with that bushing. And sometimes, now sometimes I have a situation if the inside of my bushing is cut too much, the relief, then I might have a bushing slip. But in this case, my bushing is actually thick enough that I'm not going to have the bushing slip out and then cause the blade to not be centered. The whole point of a bushing is to just center the blade. The blade does not ride on the bushing. It's made out of brass. So if you look, I'll just grab one of these bushings here. All it is is a spacer that centers your blade. The flanges, if you look here, there's a flange that we just put on it. The two flanges clamping the blade is what holds the blade in place. The bushing is merely there to center the blade until you clamp it, the flanges. The bushing then doesn't really have a big impact. It does not do any special stabilization or anything else of the blade. Everything's really held in place by the two flanges. So in this case, I'm gonna then tighten this blade up a little bit. I don't have to tighten super tight. Um, tight enough, but not super tight. And you notice that I'm holding this blade, but I'm making sure that I'm holding the blade very flat. I'm not tweaking it, I'm not bending it, um, and I've tightened that blade up. So we are now in place and uh, ready to go with that.